If you have a van or something that needs heat, this is the only way you could heat it up. Electric doesn't work. To run on batteries is expensive. Solar, you need a massive solar system. Diesel is the answer. So I got all this stuff in anticipation of my motor van that I'm going to build. So the amount of heat that this one puts out, it's eight kilowatts. It's impossible to find this much heat in electric or solar power or anything that is mobile. So this is the best solution to heat up a van. There is no other way. I know a lot of people think that they could make it work with the electric. You can't. You just cannot match eight kilowatts worth of power. So how does it work in one? So obviously this is the uh, two and a half gallon diesel tank. These are pierceable. So inside there is a component that you attach over here and then you could either make it sit on the wall like this or you could make it sit on the wall like this. Depends on your application. Once you install that, you're going into your hose. So this is the hose that they gave you. You cut it to length and then you plug it into your uh, fuel pump. This is the fuel pump. Fuel goes in, fuel goes out. Fuel out. This is the harness that you could connect everything with. So it has everything uh, assigned, including the positive and the negative and the fuse but the positive and the negative that you hook up to your battery. So you have to have a good 12 volt source for this. Then it goes into this thermostat, which is also plug and play, and it comes with a remote. So this thermostat, you could put it on the wall and adjust the temperature inside. So it turns on and off. And all the magic happens in here. And this is the more complicated part. Now one is an intake. This goes under your car. So you're gonna hit a hole in your car about this yay big. And then this little hose has a kind of like a, uh, uh, intake over here so this is the one that takes air for the burn process uh, and then that plugs over here and then you have this this is the exhaust it's a little exhaust this is really really hot that's why it's made out of metal uh, this one gets hot and this goes under your car and it's a little catalyst over here that helps burn the excess uh, gases that are not burned inside the unit right and uh, the unit itself sits like this on the floor of your vehicle you have an intake over here so this is the intake uh, so all the air gets sucked in from the inside of the vehicle so it gets pushed out through these holes over here and then you have these to direct the flow so if you want to um, get into a central position where you could direct heat to, to spread out throughout the vehicle design wise it's a pretty clever device and the reason that i got it is that this was one of the most affordable ones on the market but this will be a great pair for my van once I get it. So this is gonna keep me nice and warm in winter. It's made by Vivor. And what's interesting is that it has this um, portable unit too. So why didn't I get the portable unit? This way I could put it into small places um, around the vehicle where this one can sit on the bed. This is good because it's portable so you can move it around. But then in the same time, everything is in like one place. It would have not worked for me as much because I'm gonna have little small places here and there where this needs to be in a fixed position. This is a great unit if you want to get the pre-built ones. You don't have to assemble anything. You just pick this one up. It has a handle. You pick it up and you move it around. And you have the gas tank. You have the unit and everything in it. So this company builds multiple ones. Also, this one is smaller. This one is 8 kilowatts. So this is the bigger unit. This one has a little bit more power. So that's the, that's the beauty of it. How much heat can produce? 8 kilowatts. So that's the equivalent of 8 kilowatts of um, electric heating. Think about it, a normal heater for the room takes two kilowatts. This one is as strong as four of those. How much power it takes? 12 volts and uh, 40 watts. So it uses 40 watts an hour. And what that means is that if you're running it off the battery for your van, make sure your van starts in the morning. If you're running it on a secondary battery, and if it runs, it's not gonna run nonstop uh, or all the time, but if it runs for a long time, you could have to compensate for about 40 watts worth of power. Yeah, I think this is gonna work really, really well for, for my application. Uh, now all I have to do is just get my van. So for that, you have to stay tuned to the channel because uh, I'm still working. Right now, prices are stupid. If you live in the United States, you know that uh, prices are just ridiculous. Uh, I can't wait to install this one in my vans.